So here we are with the Vault Music guys. Guys, how's it going? Well, yes, we do. Well, okay. I think first of all, what we should do is please introduce yourselves and what we actually do. So, shall we start with Julie here and we'll work our way down? Yep, uh, I've just been taking some photos of the Vault Music gigs the last couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <answer. Yeah. laughs> Uh, I'm Josh, I've done photos before and then some videography for the acoustic videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, promotion. Oh yeah, the promotion. Oh, that's oh, that's good. Um, I'm Sophie and I organise everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just a man. <laughs> <laughs> You're your first Thomas McKenzie experience. <laughs> <laughs> I did all along. Yes. No, uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair enough. Well, I'm James, I'm the designer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Could you let everybody know who we are and what we do? Uh, I'm Daniel and I do reviews and interviews for the pop music group. Um, so yeah, first question is to Sophie and Thomas. Why did you make pop music? Why? Or, 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 who came up with the idea of pop music first of all? Me, multiple times when I'm driving by myself. I had no one to tell it to. And then I forget <laughs> about it. Aww. And remember it every time I'm driving. And then one day I went into Sophie's room and told her. Yeah. Spoiler. Didn't really ask her to join, she just jumped in. Oops. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> I just went in to like, tell her about it and then we just started organizing. Yeah. Just tell it's only once we were, like once you said the idea, we were kinda like, right, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. Like there was no like what well, we said at the end start doing it, we we're just like And we sat in your for like four hours and just yeah. organized the whole thing. Yeah. Came up with any aim. Yeah. Logo ideas. Yeah. Bands, bands locations for the yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Where did Vault come from? Like the name Vault. Why did you just go, why did you go for Vault music? We saw for ages, kind of going through different ideas and kind of thought about what we actually wanted it to be like. Um, and that's when we started playing around with the idea of a Vault of like a place to keep everything and store everything. Um, and then we were just flipping around different ways to say it, and then just landed on Vault music. Fair enough, fair enough. So, how long has the Vault Music been going on for them? How many, how long? The first official day that we had that, our first meeting, <laughs> um, when Tom came up with the idea, or when he said the idea, the idea to me, was the 29th of April. I remember that. I, I was going to say it's the day of the first game. <laughs> yeah. It's the 5th of the July. 5th of July, yeah. Was it July? Yeah, uh, it July. Uh, okay, sorry, I thought it was July. Yeah, it was after my birthday. Oh. oh, very good. Man. So, you've been going for a couple of months now, and you've seen Vault Music grow, not just with musical talent, but also as the team's grown because <laughs> it just started off with you two. Yeah. And then, how did everybody else get involved afterwards? None of us can use a camera. Yep. So, that was the first thing. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. 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 Have you said the Josh? Yeah. I can't remember how we find Josh. I think we just knew it was because I did your band. Yeah. Show for the fools. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, we said to Josh and then been stuck this guy for a couple of years as a mate, so <laughs> <laughs> he really not to. <laughs> yeah. He does graphic design in uni, so why else would I not ask him? He took advantage of me pretty much. I might need to cut that from the video. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, no, we kind of then like thought about because we had Josh and we had James as well, about making it a team thing, because obviously these are things that we can't do on our yeah. own, um, but whereas there's other people that are around us that can do it, mm. and that can do it well, so why would we not make it a team thing and have local, young, creative people being involved in something to make like an end product? Yeah. So, so like, so Vault's grown in terms of artists joining the bill, in terms of venue size, you guys have grown, you've been moving about, so you have, mm -hmm. in terms of the team as well. Um, I'm just going to pitch these questions to everybody else, like, you know, experience wise, you know, what experience have you guys got in your like field that you're in with involved music? Let's go with Jonah first, like, you do photography and videography for, for your, well, for Vault, but do you do outside as well? Or? Um, yeah, I don't know. I sort of started about 
April time as well. And it was the first time really taking photos at a gig. We got a camera last Christmas and I just wanted to combine the two things that I really enjoyed, like live music and photos. So yeah. I just got myself out there. I started going to a few small gigs and yeah. Start from there? Yeah. What about you, Josh? Uh, in terms of video stuff, I started from like GCSE moving image, which when I first started doing video stuff, and then for photography, I only picked up a camera because I needed a third A level. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> so, I was forced into miles, I needed a moving image, and then I didn't want to be another like camera. Yeah. And I'm shy at painting. <laughs> so I was like, I picked up a camera. <laughs> and then I just went from there. Fair enough. Fair enough. And, so for you being more on the side on the side of booking bands and organizing venues, is that safe to say? Uh, yeah. 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 Have you had experience doing that before or um, anything like that at all? We've been quite lucky. We had a pretty cool upbringing. Mum took us to gigs and to concerts and music festivals. festivals. Yeah. Um. So we've kind of been around the music industry in Northern Ireland forever <laughs> yeah. um, and just knew people and like then our uncle did something very similar um, whenever I was about 12 and that was kind of my first insight like I was involved with well I was, I was, I was 12 I can't really do much um, but <laughs> um, I was there um, for a lot of like their meetings and stuff when teams just kept putting on the shows and stuff so that was kind of like my first insight to this is like a thing that people do mm. um, that, that anyone can kind of do and then um, I've always sang myself and I've always loved music and then um, I did tech yeah and that was when my first it kind of went from I love performing and singing and stuff then I was like there's a whole other world of like the business side of it yeah. and I was like I can do that <laughs> I'm going to try to do that <laughs> and yeah. then Thomas, you've described yourself as the man. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I would describe you as the Tom Stuff McKenzie experience. Um, but you are the sign guy. You are the sign man. Well, I know a wee bit. I know a wee bit. You know a wee bit, yeah. Not to get by. Yeah. Have you done it before, like working with sign or? You know? Yeah, well, I like, do work for a production company. No. Shall I do four <laughs> Um Yeah, I'm just always, like Sophie, obviously been around live sign. The music and I just I was interested in how it works. Because <coughs> obviously everyone just thinks, you know, it's just the band. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes to AK and thinks the band. Yeah. But they don't know it. There's probably a crew of like 20 other, other people. In the background and everything. Yeah. From the strings. I like being in the background of things. I don't know. I like playing. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I like being on stage playing drums as well, but <laughs> even, even drums, I'm just, you know, there you go. not up at the front playing guitar. So you like being in the back right now? I show. I'll move on, I'll move on. And uh, James, you, you are the graphic designer for Vault. Uh, you're doing it at uni yourself, so you are now. Yeah. What uni are you at? Austrian University. In Belfast? Yeah. In Ocean. You enjoyed it? <laughs> enjoyed it? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Okay. And have you. Why did, what made you want to do graphic design like that kind of thing there? And then what made you think you were suitable to do for vault music as well? I didn't have a choice and they thought he was giving me some twist of the arm. But uh, I've always been in the creative like fields, mm. but I could never think of how I'm going to get a career in it. Yeah. And involved like doing art or something. Then I did a course in NRC for interaction design. Did that for three years, now I'm in uni. So once I finish this stuff I get a job in it, but there you go, that's what I My C V. Take it. <laughs> so we kind of have like a, a brief a brief explanation of everybody and what everybody brings to the team. In terms now of the music side of thing, in terms of the showcase that you guys put on, how many showcases now is all music put on in Belfast or around Northern Ireland? Four. Four. Mm. And is it safe to say that they've grown each time? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, of the first one there was about 30 people, mm -hmm. second one there was 60, was it? Or was it not as much as that? No, I think it was. And then the fourth there was, I don't know, was it like 80 or something? It's now 80. I can't remember the last one. So it's definitely been growing then. Yeah. It was out there. And then with the venue change as well, that just shows you. Yeah, that's why we made the venue change. Um, 
went from accused to voodoo. Yeah, voodoo has better chances. Yeah, mm. it was easier. <laughs> yeah, not a sweat box. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is very true. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, it's a Should nice probably be better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks well, nice to be so better. So you do like accused. <laughs> do you want to sponsor us? <laughs> and they do too. <laughs> <laughs> so, the venues change, McHugh's to Voodoo, and the numbers have grown. What about the bands in terms of how hard, was it hard finding the bands, first of all, to put on the showcases? Oh, really? No. no. We, we mainly went to our friends first. Yeah. Yeah, because we made so they studied music in back here. I was there for three years. One year. Yeah. Um, so a lot of our friends are in bands and just meeting people at gigs, so. Just pretty much went to our friends first. Yeah. But like that first, when we first like started creating Vault, we did just write down a list of local it, it bands. Was, that, yeah. Like I still have it and we're still working our way through it. People that we want to work with. Yeah, people are getting yeah. added to it. Yeah, like all the time and like people are messaging us wanting to be involved with it as well, which is really cool. Yeah. So we just kind of, kind of knew what we kind of, or who we kind of wanted to work so, with. So it's shown like a a healthy progress, a healthy group of mm -hmm. musicians who want to join. Is there a certain, is there a dream musician or a dream band that you'd love to have in a ball music life? Food fighters. Like, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's get it straight. A local music act from Northern Ireland, let's keep it that. Two or seven club. Two or seven club. A ball music. Why not? <laughs> why, why not? Um, I don't know. Um, it's open to everybody. It's open to everybody as well. Yeah, is there anybody you like it? Is there anybody you'd like to see or anybody you'd like to, you know, take photos of or design the logos and all that stuff for the posters and all that stuff? Is there anybody that you'd love to get a chance to work with or see? Well, I mean, right now, New Pagans. I was gonna, I was gonna say anything. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah, I can see that there, yeah. American Guinea Pig. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that like that New Pagans and American Guinea Pig? I can't get them all the moment. Also, just American Guinea Pig and New Pagans. Guys, I'm sure it's other bands. Like, yeah. yeah. We could probably go get the list, but that'd be different. Yeah, I mean, from what I can think, there is Brand New Friend on it, mm -hmm. Jim Palace, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Learn a Pig, yeah. Uh, there's loads, I can't think of. I should have gone got it, except them. So I'll just go get it. Yes. So we've spoken about the growth of alt music, we've spoken about um, the amount of people here attend shows, the amount of. Um, the venue changed as well, the change from McHugh's basement to Voodoo's upstairs, which is definitely a big achievement, and it just shows you the growth of all music is going through. Is there like, are there any artists, like dream artists, from the Northern Ireland local music scene that you would like to see at a vault music night? Is there any at all? Mm. Good thing we have this list. <laughs> 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 that this we did, we just did go earlier. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the, the first. Original list? Yeah, this is like how we actually started vault on these people. So we actually, it will. Um, we just sat and just wrote down the first kind of people we thought of that we wanted to work with. Um, we have, well, say the ones that we have worked with so far in the list. Yeah, or, yeah go for it. So, Ron Agnew, P7, Aeons, Chicago Typewriter, Narcats, um, Daniel, he played with the one. Um, they do it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're the ones we use. Fake flirtations. Oh, yeah, fake flirtations. Um, I'm letting them know that was a different case. Yeah, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else? There's more. Wow, yeah. <laughs> well, the last gig you had, uh, Shocks. Ah, uh, Shocks. Yeah. 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 My boss, I just saw much of them. Whatever you are, you're going to have Thomas. See, but, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I was at <laughs> but by that point we didn't even we didn't know shots or Kilgore Q or any of that ones. Yeah. Um, this is just like our very first list. Like yeah. we even have like when we started planning the acoustic videos. Did um, we even know the headlines or something? Oh, oh the man of his. Oh, I knew Dean. I knew Dean was on the list. Um. I think the first time we've seen them was at the Jenny Fiasco mm -hmm. game. Yeah. Which that oh, was, it was at the Empire. Yeah, yeah. that was fun. They would be class to put it on. Yeah, oh, I like Jenny Fiasco. That would be good for another reunion. <laughs> yeah, another reunion. <laughs> another reunion. <laughs> so I'd be up for it. Like, I mean, I'd be up for it.